friends, I'm Neethi the Pharmacist. Welcome to my food church. So I've had people say to me over the years, Neethi, you really need somebody to just follow you around with a camera because the information that we talk about in the food church is so valuable for everyone to hear. Even all the members don't hear it because I'm having these conversations with individuals throughout the day. Um, all week long. And, you know, a lot of people that come um, to the food church are not interested in being uh, on camera. And so, you know, in an effort to protect everybody's anonymity, and still be able to share these conversations that we feel like would benefit everybody. Um, I decided that I would just put a mic on and record uh, conversations that I'm having. So when you're listening to this, um, it might be that we started a conversation and then I decided, oh, I really should record this. And so, you know, it might sound like you're just kind of walking into a conversation or a discussion. And I'm not editing this because I don't really have time to do all that. So I thought that it was still meaningful enough um, for folks to, you know, possibly be interested in listening to it. So these are conversations that I'm having real time with real people in the food church. And I'm just recording them. And if they are of any benefit to you, then, you know, tune in. I'm going to call the series, you know, uh, Candid Conversations candid conversations. Um, and I'll just list it like that and just do maybe candid conversation one. (laughs) I might put the dates. I'm not sure, um, how I'm going to, how I'm going to organize this exactly, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this series. And if, um, if you could please, you know, give me thumbs up or something, um, make some comments, let me know, participate in the conversation, give us something more to talk about. Um, because whatever you comment, I can take that back to the same people and let them know, hey, when I posted this conversation, you know, these are the reactions of the people. And so um, if you're interested in participating with us, you know, that would be how you would do that. But yeah, I didn't, you know, it's like I spend so much time doing this and it's for you for the past 15 years, haven't recorded any of them. So (laughs) I guess we're getting a little late start on that, but um, I don't know. Hopefully this is uh, valuable for you guys and you enjoy it. Um, So yeah, welcome to the series of Candid Conversations. Okay. So, yes, I have the four chicken broths. You have it's not, um, the chicken bag. Chicken bag. Like, no, I might have three. Three chicken bags? Yeah, and I just got a kit. Broth okay. Kit. So, how do I do the broth part? How do you do, do the broth, broth part? How does that work? Yes. So, our broth kit, just so you know, everything that we package that is cut up parts and pieces yeah. is two birds worth. Okay. Because it's not worth it to cut up one bird. Yeah. Because you'd only have two wings, for example, right? Okay. But if we do two birds, then you have four wings or eight pieces, like for eight pack mm-hmm. of chicken wings yep. or something. So that's one serving, right? Mm-hmm. So that's how we do all the packs. The broth kits is two birds worth of feet. So that's four feet. Yep. We trim the nails. Meaning like we cut off the tips of the toes mm-hmm. so that there's no nails, like nothing that anybody should feel like weird about. And the feet have been cleaned, meaning there's a skin part that comes off okay. that a lot of people would normally have to do. Like if you're processing your own birds, then you have to take this off, but you don't have to do that for this. Okay. So that's been done for you. All the stuff that's in the broth kit, it's like a neck bone, two feet, two, sorry, two necks, two feet and wing tips. Normally, if I'm just going to use the broth kit, I want to make something super gelatinous. I'll use like four broth kits in one standard crock pot. You fill it with distilled water. Mm-hmm. Don't use tap water. Yeah. If you have well water, 
then maybe your well is clean, like if you've tested it or not. City water has poison in it, so right, we don't right. want to have any of that. Okay. No, you cannot filter heavy metal out of water. So this is also important. It needs to be distilled because distilled waters, when they steam it and they catch the steam, that's actually how you clean water. I actually went to the city council and um, to a water meeting and I asked that, like they explained that they're doing something new. And I, I asked the question at the mic, like, do you, did you ever consider just a distillery? Because, you know, right that would actually clean water and um they ended the meeting and they kicked me out of there like of yeah because that was you know, logic so <laughs> i mean instead what they do is they put poison in the water like fluoride and all these other things chlorine. that are guys yeah water chlorine like chlorine so much yes so filtering it isn't enough which is why you can't you can't drink that stuff okay. so also on your showers you need filters. So we have magnetic filters that we offer um, through Neekin. Um, if you purchase those and you're supporting the food church, we get like, I don't know, a little bit of something, yeah. something. But mostly, I am just want you to have the right items. <laughs> yeah. And the big deal about the, the magnets, people don't understand that. So the three important, most important things for your health besides the food being clean and real is magnets circadian light and water so three things so magnetic means also earthing like that's you're resetting right. so every time you walk outside barefoot or you're just playing outside you have your hands in the dirt especially your bare feet the bottoms of your feet and your hands yeah those are where you're going to receive the most energy to reset mm -hmm. So just kind of know that. Like when the kids are sitting there playing in the dirt with their hands and feet, that's a big deal. Yeah. So they're resetting and getting their, you know, and they're in the sunlight. Yeah. And so anyway, I just want to point those couple things out. So with this, you're going to use distilled water since you can't filter your city water. Mm -hmm. I'm a well, but you're on a well? But just I'm, test my it. My water smells like straight chlorine when I turn it on. So are you sure it's I'm well? positive, yes. Yeah. 100% positive. We have, literally have a will in our community. Have you had it tested? No, because I'm like, this is shit, so. <laughs> well, you should test it, though. Okay. You should test it and find I out. I have neighbors that have tested their water. Yeah, I would want to. Well, are y'all not on different wells? No, we're all on the same well. Then you're not on a well, are you? I don't understand that. Okay, so there's one big well, right? But we all have that little... Um, we, it's like, I think it's in sections, because some of us have the little well thing in our yards, and some of us don't have it. So I think it's in sections. But we have this big brown Is, is your development well. cleaning the water? I, I mean, know. you know, I'm just wondering, like, they might, I don't know. I don't because know. if they have you guys sharing well water. Uh -huh. Which is why I think they, they're putting chlorine what's in your, What's your, what's your, uh, what's your water pressure like? Shit. Right. I mean, because I was like, as far as I know, trying to get a well, like if I, like, let's just say we have our own piece of land, mm -hmm. we get our well. I mean, you know, you're trying to go for like 70 pounds per second. It's like, like when we do our water hoses, it's so weak. Because you're sharing water with 100 yeah. people. How long are you going to have water? Do you run out of water? They could run that well dry. We have not run out of water. No, we have not. Well, that's good. This is so confusing. I have never heard of people. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a brand new community. Uh huh. And so I don't know if this is something new that they're doing, but yeah. Huh. Like we don't have an actual like. There's not like an actual old school like well on our property. Some of us have those big um. You know those rocks that you can cover. Oh uh. -huh. We have that. Some of us have that part, but I think it's like in section. No, I mean if you had a well that you had to keep track of and maintain, you yeah. would know it. It's a big brown, huge, like, container right in the middle of our neighborhood. That's a water That's tank. Yeah. That's not a well. Well, they, we don't, classify, we, we don't get charged city water. We get charged well water. Who charges, outside, who's charging you the well water? Oh, Lord. I opened our water bill. Like, our water bill? Is it the city? It's not, no, it's not the town of Lake Forest, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. Who charges that? But who are you paying? 
Girl, you paying somebody. Who I am. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the company for this. You get, what is that? I'm trying to think about my bill. I'm trying to look at I would want to call these people and be like, what are you do? How are you treating our water? Yeah. Okay. The bottom line is that you're not on your own well. No, we're not on our own well. No. We're and you can't your test water. your well. Right. And you're on some group yes. where some somebody mm -hmm. who thinks that they're very intelligent is treating your water. Right. That's exactly what we're on. Okay. Because they have to treat your water because they're selling it to a whole bunch of people and they're making money. Exactly. And so because they're doing that, somebody gave them permission. Mm -hmm. Because they couldn't have known how to do this on their own, right. obviously. Right, right. Because, you yeah. know, we're just stupid people. Okay. So, yes, that's what we're on. All Whatever right. Whatever you want to call that. That's called just city water. Okay. We're just going to call it city we water. We're going to call it city water we're because. We're right outside of, like, this Wake Forest city. We don't, we don't right. call them the city limits. Huh. So, we don't get And so, someone, it, some rando is poisoning your water. Yeah, basically. Guys does treating the water. They mm -hmm. First of all, why do you have to have a water treatment? plan no you don't you need to have a water distill distillate distillery yeah. to just distill the water mm -hmm. so that you get the clean water because that is the only way to clean water i mean like if you're at the ocean and you are dropped off on an ocean and you got to find your way to back to civilization because you know what's that movie with what's his face tom hanks lost. What is it? Lost? What is it? Uh, no lost. quiet um, <laughs> The Tom the Hanks comments. movie where um, when he's when he talks to the soccer ball, what's it called? Whatever. Castaway. Castaway yes. yes. yes, yes. So <laughs> if he didn't find a fresh water source, right. then for him to have clean water, he would have had to been able to distill water out of the ocean because you can't drink ocean water. So the only way to get all the stuff out of the water would be to distill it. Which you can do like with plastic bottles. Had he maybe he had a FedEx box of plastic, and I don't know. But anyway, you could deal with tarps and all these other okay. things. So right. So <laughs> if this if if this if this de developer was so in incredible, they would have um, m instead of making that big thing that you're talking about, mm -hmm. they or even if they do have a tank that they're collecting mm -hmm. it in. They would have also put a building and created a distillery so that they could sell it to you mm -hmm. as distilled water so that you would be in the most pristine community yeah. that had the most ma amazing benefit of distilled water. Right. People have been lied to and made to believe that distilled water will kill you because it's dead water. No, it's just water. It's just water. Yeah. It's not, I mean, out of a stream or whatever, it's living water, and they still tell you you got to treat that, which yeah. is lies. It's lies because I'm on the mountain up there at Polyface drinking real water, but you know what? You can't collect that water that's living and then put it in a bottle and then go back and drink it later because it tastes like ugh uh, because it's living mm -hmm. and now you killed it because you put so it tastes yeah. like dead water, yeah. like a like a living form. Yeah. So, but when you drink it down there and you drink it out of the creek or whatever, you're, you feel great. Wow. When you put it in a, if I try to take it back to the hotel in a jar or a glass bottle or something, yeah. then it tastes like death. Really? Yeah. Like how you have like a, like you kill, had a rotten egg or something. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. And so that's how water is. If you take fresh water, so there's this, these guys I heard that are collecting water at some spring. This is what I think is fascinating about spring water is they say, this is spring water and we collected it and it's fresh. And when you buy it in a bottle, it's spring water. No, this is lies because I know that if you actually take something out of a spring and you put it in a bottle and you like put a lid on it, then now it can't breathe. It's not living anymore. It dies and it literally tastes like death, like something. It smells like smelly, but like, it's not that way when you're drinking it, it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me. I can stand there with Joel and drink out of the creek and feel incredible. If I take it in a cup and down to the land and just drink it for the day, yeah. still incredible. If I put it in a glass and I put a lid on it, and take it to the room because I don't want to buy bottled water because I'm there with his incredible spring water. Right. 
Well, it's freaking dead water. It tastes like I'm going to die if I drink it. Then my stomach would start hurting. And I told him that. And he's like, yeah, it's living water. You got to kind of let it breathe. And I didn't think about it. I don't even know that he really knows or thinks about it because yeah. it's just there. It's just there yeah. So he's just drinking it. But he's not bottling it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's right. what I know. Mm -hmm. But anybody who's catching these waters and selling them, because I know that there's a company that just, and I wanted to have a conversation with these guys because they're doing it around North Carolina too. And I wanted to say to them, like, what do you do? Like, they have to be treating that water yeah. to jar it. And then to me, I'm like, what are you treating it with? And then why are you treating it? And then um, now I'm back at the whole, just distill the water. Because yeah. if you got to bottle it or jar it or whatever, otherwise, if it's coming straight up out the well, then it should be living and you shouldn't have to filter it or really anything. I mean, you could filter it at that point through Berkey or something. Yeah. And it would be like fine in case there was, I guess, some pathogen. You shouldn't have a pathogen in your well because it's coming out of the ground which has been filtered and cleaned by the earth, mm -hmm. which is now fortified with everything that you need because nature has our back. Right, right. So anyway, okay, so back to your thing. The people are pulling it out and they poison it because okay. they treat it, which yeah. we don't want to do. Okay. And then, so now you need distilled water. Okay. So everything that you're doing to get this incredible water that they ruin, now you need to go buy some distilled water to make broth. And also, I would have distilled water for your family to drink, which in our market, we use Le Bleu. Yeah. And the reason we do is because it is distilled, but then they make it uh, structured water. They structure it again okay. by ozonating it. Mm -hmm. I studied water for two years. I want me, actually, not just by myself, me and another member of the CSA, who this other woman, her, her kids were unwell, and she was interested in clean water. She and I together researched water for two solid years. We called every filtration company. We called Berkey. We called everybody. Because at that time, everybody was like, you definitely need RO or Berkey or both or something, whatever, or have an incredible well, right? Well, what I know now for a fact is Berkey can't filter out fluoride, and they've finally admitted it. And they had a separate... A fluoride filter that they used to try to you can't filter heavy metal that is what the bottom line is right so you can't get it out unless you distill the water period mm -hmm. so when people are pouring fluoride into the water like if everybody around town would just go to the water meeting and tell the city we don't want you to fluorinate the water anymore you know that's that's what the the people aren't rising and doing what's and talk it's speaking the truth because they're pushed into corners and made to believe that they're stupid these things are simple these are nothing's complicated everybody should know that when you distill water that is the cleanest pure and then they're like well that's dead water no it's just water it's just the purest plainest water and then for you to structure it you can um, stir it with a magnet you can take rocks from your outside yard and literally pour it over and like you filter it through a thing of magnets. Meekin yeah. has a water filtration system, which literally you pour distilled water in it and it remineralizes it. You can add real salt to it and stir it with a magnetic wand and that will structure it. You can ozonate it. You can put red light therapy on it. You can speak love into water. Did you know that? You can tell the water how much you love it and just speak love into it and like structure it. Yeah, that's why when you cook, you know, N-I-K-K-E-N. Here, go to my website. Go to farm2forkmeatriot.org. And then um, shop for the cause. And Meekin is an icon there. Okay. You might not have internet in here. <laughs> yeah. Then Meekin is a shop. Okay. Yeah, when you press it, okay. then you can do that. And then okay. there's sleep systems, so you can be sleeping in magnets. Mm -hmm. There's the water system. So, so we have. This distills the water? Or no. It filters it. 
this is has the shower heads for okay. you to put in your shower. Okay. And the reason is because you want, it's gonna filter your water, but it's gonna spiral it through magnets mm -hmm. and energize it for you okay. before you use it. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll structure it properly after it takes all the poison out. It's still gonna have fluoride in it, but you're not drinking it in the shower. Right, right, right. So now you can bathe in it. And a lot of people who have a lot of skin issues, just dry skin even, mm -hmm. you won't have these problems with the filters. It's, a, it's incredible. Yeah. Like you'll, you'll see, um, anyway, okay, that's just for that. If you want to get the filter that's, that they have in there, you can pour distilled water through that filter and it'll remineralize it. I don't do that. We just drink the La Blue because it's already structured. Okay. And if you're going through the trouble to get it, then get it while it's already structured. If you buy plain distilled water out of like Walmart, you can drink it and you're not going to die and you're you're uh restructuring it when you make it into broth mm -hmm. so if you're at a at the beach and you make coffee with distilled water from walmart then you made coffee it's fine you know you made broth that's fine yeah. you know when you're making a food out of it then it's kind of different right? right right if and even just drinking it over there is still better than the freaking tap water yeah and if you want to feel better about it you can stir it with a magnet and or add um, some relight to it and you can remineralize it that way too so just know that those are things that you can do when you're out in the street or whatever but at home yeah i would have a little blue delivered or yeah. go pick it up or whatever okay. yeah. yeah and i would talk to your people and be like what's up with the right, water right. why are you poisoning it mm -hmm. i'm telling you it feels like straight well, if they're doing it at your tank in your neighborhood, then I wonder if your neighborhood can come together and be like, we don't really want bleach in our water. Right, right. We don't want to drink bleach. Like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I mean, do you have an HOA? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would tell the HOA to do that and also just move. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Also, just uh, move. <laughs> Well, you know how I feel about it. I'm like, um, you know what? If you can't live somewhere where you can do all the things that you need to do because you need to live and not die, yeah. then that means you need to go. I used to think, I mean, I was also brainwashed and believed 100% that we needed an HOA to keep the value of our property up because ding yeah. dong, ding dong, ding. But also, you know, now I'm like, okay, I just don't need neighbors that close to me at all. How about that? And if they're going to be that close to me, then I should just make sure it's going to be people who I know <laughs> or yeah. figure it out or something like that. But yeah, um, you just need five acres, girl. You don't really need a lot. I know, it's not a lot. I know. No, I mean, five acres is not a lot. You know what? <laughs> if you get five acres and most of it's wooded, then you get woods on three sides. And then guess what that means? That means you just got a perimeter. And then whatever you have inside, you know, because you need six feet of woods to come between you and other people's toxins. Mm. And then you can't eat anything out of those woods. If you have more than six feet, then the, the six exterior feet is your um, filter. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so back to the making okay. of the broth. So you could take two, you could take a, a couple of chicken backs yeah. and a broth kit, okay. and you put it in. You fill the thing up with water and salt, okay. and you can go heavy because you're not going to taste that salt. So like, okay. mm -mm. you could put a quarter cup of salt in there, and it will not. It'll taste like you did not salt it at the end, but you'll have remineralized the whole thing. So distilled water can be from Walmart because you're going to remineralize it mm -hmm. and whatever. And then you put a pack of the feet or whatever the this thing and then you put the two chicken backs and then you put the distilled water you put a lid you put on low and you go to sleep i do it because i want it to go for as long as possible mm -hmm. and i don't have the energy at the end of the day that i'm going to be jarring it and all this other stuff right, right, right. so like and i don't want it to go for longer because it starts turning a little bit rancid so you want to do it before you go to sleep. So when you wake up in the morning, then you're going to come out and you're going to jar it and put it away. And you should get 
from what we just talked about, minimally a gallon. Usually I'll end up with like a gallon and a half. Okay. And you also have the meat off of the bones if you want to mess with that. Okay. And when you pull the meat off of the back, um, then um, you can put that in one of them for soup. You only have like a fistful. Yeah. And um, the skin, though, before I make this broth, if you want the skin in there, it creates good medicine. But I personally like to take that and fry it in some lard and eat it for a snack because it's a lot of skin on that chicken back. And I like to fry it in lard and eat, eat it as carnivore crisps. So you get carnivore crisps yeah. and broth and a little bit for soup. I mean like a, a meaty soup. So you might have like one pint of meaty soup yeah. and like a gallon and a half of broth. Okay. And you will need to resalt that. Resalt all you will, because you'll taste it. You'll be like, this <laughs> tastes like it has no salt in it. Okay. Yeah. That's after a quarter cup, girl. Right. I know. Yes. It's very easy. It is very easy. And I, can, I can like water bath bathe that stuff though, right? Like, like legit, legit preserve it. Like, can it? Can it? Yeah. You can, but no. girl, there's no reason for you to do that because okay. like cook with it, use it, yeah. stick it all. I put it all on the bottom shelf in the back of my fridge. Okay. That's just broth. Yeah. And it only is going to last me barely a month okay. because you don't cook in water at that point. Right. Every yeah. time you need water, you use that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even if I'm boiling, like, you know, we haven't had pasta in a long time, but like if I'm going to boil some pasta, I'm going to do 50-50 water and broth yeah. it's just gonna make it taste good and it's gonna have nice like nourishment in there yeah if you cook rice i only use broth no water okay. yes and obviously every other soup stew whatever something mm -hmm. i don't know you know we just eat the meat so yeah. but like if you made meatballs and you did gravy Oh, right, yeah. yeah. You know, and you're rinsing out the tomato mm -hmm. jar. Well, I use broth. That's just going to make it taste, like, incredible. Think about it. Mm -hmm. And it's just medicinal. Right. Also, you can just drink a little bit of it every day before a meal. Okay. You know, it's a simple soup. Yeah. So you just warm it up, give everybody half a coffee mug's worth, mm -hmm. and have everybody drink their soup before they eat their meal every day. I mean, their immunity is going to be off the charts. Oh, yeah. I gave my mom um, some beef because she cannot eat, like, ground beef. It just gives her the digestion and all that stuff. What does she eat it with? She's never had it by itself. She eats, like, like if, she do, if she does, like, any, any kind of beef, like, she'll make, like, meatball, beef meatballs. She'll well, wait a minute. Anything. She's making it into something, and she's eating it with other stuff. It is not the meat. No, it's not. Well, she's, she's saying that from the grocery store, she cannot eat the meat. Right. But I gave her some of yours, and she's uh -huh. like, it does not bother me whatsoever. So she'll do, like, any kind of, like, um, she'll do, like, hamburger patties. She'll do, yes. like, meatballs uh -huh. or, or, or tomato sauce and stuff like that. She just cannot. She can't stomach it. Yeah, she has all the, she, her whole, you know? well, if you're eating out of the grocery store, yeah. then it's poison. Yeah. And it's, if it meets health code, it's poison. Mm -hmm. And if it's poison, you're going to have IBS and ten hundred problems and Crohn's disease. All she has all, like, not Crohn's disease, but like IBS, mm -hmm. acid reflux, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Right. Acid reflux is 100% caused by plant material. Mm -hmm. Like, just stop mm -hmm. eating it. Yeah. Or fake meat. Right. Also, you know, like they've been putting mRNA in chicken for the past 12 years. They've been putting it in pork for the past six years and in beef for the past two years. So, like, you know, I'm, I am I am so proud to be able to say we haven't eaten out of the grocery store in 15 years. That's awesome. So, like, yeah. you know, that was on time. That was, yeah. that was our, that was the gift that Mina gave us. Mm -hmm. wow. She saved our lives, yeah. you know. But you should know that if you've been exposed to that, which probably anybody anybody who's been eating out of a grocery store or a restaurant for the past 12 years, 100% has been violated. Yeah. If you've been eating out of the grocery store for 100 years, we were violated, right? But can you remediate? Yes. What you need to know is that we are regenerative. Right. We, human beings, mm -hmm. did you know that we produce our own food? 
Yeah. Why do you think that if you're stressed out or if something happens, your A1C goes up? You want to know why? Well, the real reason why is because we have the ability to photosynthesize. So we create our own food, but that food is glucose, which is sugar. Yeah. And so we don't need to eat any because we already produce it. And that is the reason, okay, it's reason number 500 that we should not eat plants because plants are sugar once we digest it and yeah. we already produce sugar and we don't need sugar and we don't need sugar and we don't need any more sugar. Hence the metabolic disease problem and all the diabetics and all the people with arthritis and all the people with heart disease and all the people with cancer and they will never not have cancer as long as they continue to eat the plant material and shop out of grocery stores and eat at restaurants. They will never. And anybody who's cooking in a plant oil instead of in animal fat is going to have all of those problems and they're just going to suffer. And that, their belief is not required. It is just what's happening. And that's evidenced by the entire planet right now. Yeah. So, and only the few of us who have walked away from that know the difference and no one else knows it because why would you do something else because you don't know right and so it's it's not really their fault but it is their fault because they're incompetent because they've never taken responsibility to know what it is that they should or should not eat they just go to the grocery store and let the centralized system feed them whatever it does you can't even grow that so if you can't grow it locally why are you eating it you wouldn't know, right? Because you go to the grocery store and they have fresh pineapple and you think you can eat it. But why would we eat pineapple? We're in North Carolina. Right. Where are the pineapples? Right. <laughs> There's no pineapples here. Oh, right. And if you have that, it is going to kill you. Yeah. Anyway, I know we got to go. We're getting ready to close, but we could talk for hours. Almost. I'll see you next week, though, right? Yes. Yes. Cool. Cool. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you like it, please share it with all your friends. And if you are interested in knowing my story or learning about the nonprofit work that I do, then please read my book. I'll make sure that there's a link in the notes. And while you're at our website, then you know you could become a sustainer and help support regenerative agriculture. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.